I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT, two turn baby girl, you know me, still with the dolls that I grew beside, all the niggas brown, me, I did it. As y'all can see, my hair is growing out, and I like to stay in braids. Luckily, my hair braider lives in my apartment complex. I was walking champ one day, and boom, I met someone who does hair, and she's cold with it. So she's gonna do my braids here at the crib. There's my hair braider, y'all, Monet. Hey, y'all. <laughs> What's up, vlog? You know what I'm saying? I'm back with another video. Hello. <laughs> hey, if you need some braids, she's the one, okay? My battery died in my camera, but as you can see, Monet Slay. Uh, Slay by Mona, check the tattoo out. It's the reason why I, oh, got it. You know what I'm saying? Period. I mean, it makes sense you got it. You know what I'm it saying? It really does. Put it there, right. boom, uh, boom. We got the crisscross going on. You know, y'all see the stitches? Y'all see? the back. Y'all see? She got the hang time. You know, it's the hang through. time. Put your head Slowly back. Surely. We got the crisp, the crisp. Period. Today's a very chill wind down day. Yoli was in town last week and we just hung out and chilled and relaxed. Y'all already know how it goes. Because we're in a long distance relationship, we really, 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 really utilize our time together. And sometimes that means we're not making content. We're just watching movies or going to the movies or going on a date or, you know, just spending real quality time together. Today, I'm going to be running errands. I'm gonna come home and clean. It's official. I know that I'm OCD, but I don't have like a strong case of it or whatnot. <laughs> but I love cleaning. Like it does something for my mental and I just can't like proceed with my day without it being clean. I don't know if anyone else has that issue. But besides me cleaning, I'm going to brush champ. I'm going to edit more videos. I'm working on some videos for my one of my clients. I'm getting all my Thanksgiving plans in order. Y'all, let me tell y'all about my community here at this complex that I live in. And I actually, I really, really love this complex. I wrote about it on threads, like how it's gonna be hard to move out of here because I really, really enjoy the people that are here. One of my neighbors brought me a whole turkey for Thanksgiving. And uh, it's not cooked, but my family and I are gonna cook it. You know what I'm saying? So that's really dope that he considers me all the time. Shout out to Ricky, man. He He's really been helping me out, bringing me groceries and just coming through clutch. It's just been really dope. Good people. My other neighbor braids my hair, as y'all saw when I got my hair braided. That's really dope. And my other neighbor be cooking and she cook cooks, y'all. Like I got some of her food in my refrigerator right now. And I'm just like, man, it's such a lovely environment here. It's a, it's a nice community. I've met so many dope people. And for me, I feel like I'm like a introvert and an extrovert. So what is it called? Is it omnivert? And I feel like a lot of people don't talk about being an omnivert. Um, a lot of people are introverts and I can very much so embrace my inner homebody. Like most of the times I'm really battling that. 
Like I'm like, eh, I'll stay home. I didn't find any parking, so I left and I, you know, I'm that person. I think I am an omnivore and it is a, a struggle. The struggle is real out here, y'all. I will say that meeting the people at my community have really inspired me to go on more walks, um, hanging out at the dog park. Like we usually meet up like around 6.30, like it's on the clock almost every day of the week, except for the weekends, like everyone's doing their own thing. But for the most part, I see the people in my community on a day-to-day -day basis. And it's really helped me just like get out there and not be so introverted, if that makes sense. So I really, really, really do appreciate this journey that I'm on. If I didn't move into here, I wouldn't have met those dope people. So now I have friends that I didn't have. If you're an introvert or an omnivert like myself, I challenge you to get out there, put yourselves in new environments, and see what that does for you. All right, y'all. So today I'm making gallo pinto. Yoli made me some rice. And then uh, you mix it with these beans and it makes a Nicaraguan dish called gallo pinto. Yoli made it for me before she left so I could have some food while she's gone. So that's what I'm making. And on the side, I just make some eggs with it. I just hit the gym, so I'm trying to keep it going, keep the health kit going. And guess what, y'all? I'm officially five pounds down. Like people think like, oh, five pounds ain't nothing, but nah, I can feel it. I can see it and I am just, now I don't even want to stop. I just want to keep working out, hitting the gym every day. folks gallo pinto beans rice eggs with bell peppers And now y'all understand why I have Erica going two times a day. If you don't know who Erica is, Erica's my robot vacuum. And when I tell you I got my money's worth out of Erica, my robot vacuum is the truth. Man, that thing is the best thing ever. And honestly, Champ had such high anxiety before, like he used to bite at it. But now he's chilling, except for getting bored halfway through. It takes like 30 minutes to an hour to fully brush him. The only thing is I could do that same thing tomorrow and it's gonna fill up just as much. Isn't that crazy? I got me a shatter. I'm trying to figure out where I'm gonna put my plants and I really want to not have my big pothos plant like just right here. Like I wanna put her maybe above the frames. Like I bought these little clips that I can add to her. Let me show y'all. All right, so there's my big pothos plant that I've had since my mom passed away. And then I think I wanna drape her over the frames. I don't know yet. As you can see, I'm trying to revamp this corner right here. I gotta clean it because I have my other plant up here and I don't know what that is. Oh, she was trying to like grow into the wall or something. So I'm gonna clean that up. And I'm thinking about putting this one right here. I just ordered something to help her stand up. So I'm gonna fix her so she's standing up properly. And I turned her that way so she can start like working her way this way. I heard that helps the roots grow, so we're gonna try that. And I also gotta figure out where I'm gonna put this one. I'm really not a fan of the pot she's in, so I'm thinking about ordering another one. So we gonna see. And people have told me that they like the pot that she's in. It's like a cement looking pot. I like it, it's all right, but kind of have a concept I'm going for. 
I think I'm gonna move my pothos plant over to this corner right there and like let it drape over the bookshelf and come across some sort of way. Champ, what you wanting about? What is it, buddy? You wanna say hi to the vlog, my guy? Champ, what's going on, buddy? Champ's being real needy right now. I've been cleaning all day, I haven't been playing with him and he's not feeling it. What are you crying about? They also, they're doing landscaping outside and he can't stand the blower. But all right, let's move these plants around. Oh yeah, and don't judge me because I got on my Cowboys house you better, shoes. Who better, you better, been around like hella propellers. Wanna know who you with, don't tell them. Come on, fellas, that ain't none of your biz. Got on your body suit, you know I'm on your ass today. Would you let me hit it thrice if I asked today? She know my state nothing but magic, babe. I be swinging it back and forth to you on your casket, babe. Mm. Girl, you on my best side. Mm. Say she from the west side. Mm. Now I just wanna know. Don't you sugarcoat? I say it all if you want. Look what I've done finally. I got this squared away. So like I really wanted to do something with my plant and I think she's just gonna grow freely. Eventually I'm gonna put like a shelf or something right here but I like that she's able to stretch out a little bit because my girl wasn't happy in that corner. I think this is a good move. And then I'm gonna put my little chair, this chair back over here, clean that up, I made a mess. Eric is kind of helping me a little bit. And then this right here is my ugly corner right now. I don't have anything to put here, but I think I'm gonna put the Christmas tree here. And then eventually I'm gonna hang these pictures and just do something with this corner. Right now I'm cooking dinner, about to eat something healthy. Some Brussels sprouts, some ground beef, no carbs tonight, cause tomorrow's Thanksgiving and I'm about to tear that up. So let me know what y'all think about that plant wall. I moved my other plants to my room because I just don't have the space for them out here, at least right now. Not till I get more shelving and stuff like that. It's a work in progress, y'all. But as soon as I'm done eating, I'll show y'all the final product of my living room tonight. This literally took me all day to do. I had to go run and get Champ some dog food in the middle of me cleaning because I almost forgot. I was like, oh shoot, Thanksgiving's tomorrow. Everything's gonna be closed. So I, I had to go do that. I went and grabbed a pie from my cousin's house tomorrow. And you know, I just really didn't wanna rush today. But it feels good. It smells good in here. It feels good. The energy feels right. And I am loving that my plant is happy. I moved my plant, my other plants into my bedroom. And I swear, once I finish with my bedroom, I'm gonna show you guys and give you guys a bedroom tour. I'm not quite finished yet. That's really the only reason y'all haven't seen it yet is because I'm not finished decorating and uh, it's coming together. But leave it down in the comments below if y'all wanna see it just in the meantime, in between time, what I have going on right now. Um, it's a work in progress, just like the rest of the house. And I mean, I guess I could show y'all my bedroom because I showed y'all everything else before it was furnished. So maybe we'll do that together too. I'm about to hop on Call of Duty for a minute with my homies and enjoy the rest of my night. I hope you guys are with y'all's family on Thanksgiving. That's what I'm about to do. I'm gonna go chill with my biological mother and then I'm gonna go see my family after that. We're probably gonna watch the Cowboys game. It's just really a tradition in our family. So yeah, I hope y'all are with loved ones. For me, I'm not like heavy on Thanksgiving or any holiday, to be honest. This holiday is kicking it with my loved ones, getting to see my family that I don't get to see all the time because I'm busy and life be lifing. Really, it's all about the love we share together and 
getting together with the people you love, period. But I hope you guys are safe and with family or friends this holiday. And I'll catch y'all in the next vlog, man. I hope y'all enjoyed this one. All of y'all who are already subscribed to the channel, I really, truly appreciate you guys. And shout out to the newbies. I see you guys. I I'm noticing that people are hopping on as soon as I post. Noti gang, shout out to y'all. Someone in Ireland keeps leaving a comment and I just want to let you know that I see you and I appreciate you. Other than that, y'all be safe and I'll see y'all in the next vlog. Peace. We all we got.